And we're here with Chris Pedigo of the Princeton Tigers. And Chris, obviously, uh, you've got a guy, a quarterback, he's been there. I think the whole time you've been there, he's been there. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, I've been there a few years. We were waiting on him, and we had a, you know, we had Ransom uh, Graham that first year. But, uh, I mean, Graham's been with us. He started uh, his second game as a freshman. He started and actually threw for a new school record in his first game with us as a freshman, and he's broke that record several times. But, uh, yeah. Imagine a guy comes in, breaks a school record his first game, you're thinking, man. <laughs> yeah. And it really has gone that way. He's he's established numbers I don't, at Princeton. I don't think they'll no. ever be topped. Uh, well, I mean, I hope they can be top. That means right. we're going to be really good. But, I mean, no, I mean, I think – and I don't have his numbers in front of me, but we're looking at 6,000 yards and 60-some touchdowns. I mean, you know, I mean, he's done some good things for us. He's got a shot at going at about 8,000, which would – you know, I mean, it's, it's not uh, J.R. House, but then nobody no. has those numbers. Yeah. I mean, what has he gotten – I think I know which way you want – what has he gotten better at since day one when he came in and set the school record his first game? where he is now well i mean day one uh, you know in the first couple of years he had some uh, he had some athletes uh, you, you're talking about ethan parsons josiah honaker those guys really on the outside they were both kind of division one type football players and really all you had to do is make sure you get the ball up to them um uh, you know the last couple of years you said uh, taking the thing you said take the you could take the to take the top off, off. We, yeah we, we, those kind of players they could take the top off uh, of defenses, which really helped us in our run game, and that's I think that's what we've turned the corner. Um, he th this past season he was able to get and work to his third and fourth reads, um, you know, and and that takes time. And I mean, it's not, I don't think you can ever ask for a quarterback to come right in and, and get right into first, second, third, fourth, working that backside read. Uh, last year against uh, against Oak Hill. He stepped up in the pocket. He threw a backside dig off of our, our what we call our Chevron concept. And uh, it was a big time play. It was a big time throw. And uh, it was like, hey, you know, this guy's really understanding what we're asking to do. Uh, he's also, over the years, that he, he did have, well, you know, you got Ethan Parsons, who was a Moss Award winner. Yeah. And, you, and uh, you got that kind of talent out there. But he's also cut down on interceptions and increased his completion percentage, but the completion percentage is one thing he mentioned. Yeah. Uh, you know, that's something he takes pride in um, getting better at. Yeah. And even though he was losing those, is, is that to speak to the kind of quarterback he is, more accurate? More Absolutely, accurate? man. I mean, we threw the ball probably 90 times less last year than we did the year before. We didn't have the same type of numbers. I still think he was around 1,800 yards, but his completion percentage was, it's gotten better every year. I think he was in, I, 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 again, I could be wrong, but 65, 68% completion percentage. I mean, he, his QBR was, uh, if you look at that kind of stuff, was uh, you know well over 100. I mean, he's doing a lot of good things. And the most important part is, like you said, he's protecting, he's protecting the offense by keeping the ball you know, in, in our possession. What do you make of a guy that, uh Says golf is his favorite uh, sport when he's as good as he is at football. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, you know how these quarterbacks are. I mean, he's a cool, he, he's a he's a cool cat. You know what? His dad was a great quarterback at Grafton. They love golf, and uh, and the good thing is, is I'll have to tell the you know the golf coaches that he can't have him, but he can go play on the weekend anytime he wants. But uh, <laughs> he and now he said he goes and plays on the weekend after games. Absolutely, they've actually stopped. And uh, and played golf. Yeah, on some trips. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, uh, yeah. He'll 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 sign out on the game or something if we're on the way. And if they got a golf course they want to go to, they're going to go. And he's done that several After, times. Yeah, several times. Um, your team wise, I know you got another guy. You like Campbell. Yeah. You think uh, he's a big time prospect, right? Big time prospect. Talk about him. Uh, I mean, the dude's a mauler. Uh, I mean, he's. Uh, I mean, he's everything you want in a lineman. If he was, if he was an inch taller right now, he probably already have several Power Five. I mean, he is right there. Uh, he's been, he he had a great camp season. Going, he's been to West Virginia. Matt Moore loves him. Uh, he's been to uh, Appalachian State. He's been to Virginia Tech. Um, he he's 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 went through the camp circuit. He's been he's performed really well. He's been invited to all of those. Um, you know, he he's just got to put more on tape and. Uh, you know, last year he played he played defense in the, in, in the blue foot, first two games. Then he broke his foot, and he only played offense. And he played offense with a metal insert in his sole, so he could at least play there. He couldn't push off on defense. Uh, he's a tough nosed kid, and uh, I'm glad he's on our team. Okay, is Brody Rice a guy who can put up a thousand rushing? 
I, I think so, you know, but I, I think you're going to see guys. I think one thing that happened to Brody last year, we had a couple of uh, tailbacks that uh, injured and then you know, left the program. And we had to put, we had to rely a lot on him. And I think toward the end, I think the workload, because he's playing both sides of the ball. Uh, you're going to see Cameron Prophet. You're going to see a, a sophomore, Mark Hill that's going to do a lot of things. And uh, we're excited where we're at with depth with our uh, running backs. And it, we'll see what happens. But he's got, he's got the capability to put up a thousand. Don Collins, the next big receiver, you think? I think so. At the, at the wide out? Yeah, I think so. We, uh, you'll see him in the slot some, and I think you're going to see him out wide the most. Uh, you know, we're trying to look for that threat to take us down, the, uh, the deep threat to take the top off like we talked about Ethan and Josiah. You excited about the cold field? Giving you a chance to – Absolutely, man. I mean, I, I was telling somebody earlier, I think, you know, the biggest thing I, – I got to play in years ago, and uh, I just remembered – how much they the notoriety and, and the things and being able to be recognized that's important and any time that our kids can get recognized i'm all about it. coach i think we closed this thing out everybody's gone i think it's it i think it's just us <laughs> coach i appreciate it yeah, thanks buddy. for the time and welcome, uh, we'll see you soon